Alright guys, welcome to the Madhouse and this time around again another video on off-world trading company. This time we are going to be headed into the fourth tutorial if you count the first one which is to upgrade your HQ to level 5 and this one is going to win as scavenger HQ. So this is uh, one of the fourth one of the four HQs uh, in the game and they all are unique in their own way and the thing about scavenger your mission is to win with a scavenger HQ scavenger HQs use carbon instead of steel so we will not be going that traditional iron steel route for most buildings and to upgrade the HQ also scavengers can use the black market more frequently and learn about random events that affect the market sooner so let's get into it Right now we're going to be scanning and um, a little tip, uh, I'm a little bit embarrassed about how I found out about this but anyway the maps uh, for tutorials are the same so the maps do not change for the tutorial and I don't think we have a geothermal plant here so we will have to take care of, uh, of the, the power issue ourselves we have aluminum up there, there's the geothermal so everything is fine right now that uh, that carbon oh, another geothermal there so we have some carbon there I know there's going to be more carbon uh, somewhere around so, uh, well we got the aluminum up top iron is not really needed and we also have that water there I'm going to found it here and as I said we're going to need carbon first and uh, to upgrade the HQ we're going to need aluminum, carbon and glass so I will be getting that aluminum there and I'm not going to go into glass yet there's, there's no point in doing that yet so uh, I will be getting water all the way there as you saw we only got three claims this time uh, instead of uh, the five claims that we got from uh, with the expensive colony all right so next thing I want to get is that geothermal plant and I will be getting that um, most probably before I'm going to upgrade but that means I will have to buy a new claim from uh, from the black market so now right now I'm just speeding things up as we are waiting for aluminum and carbon and we can actually upgrade so we will go ahead and upgrade take uh, take what we needed from uh, from our funds and I would like some more some more carbon but I'm not sure if that one is actually worth it but we are just going to be staying here until I can get that geothermal plant most probably I can get that carbon so you can see they are uh, this is an uh, this is an option it's most game this is an auction and uh, people are actually auctioning for a particular tile on the map in this case it's a geothermal and uh, well usually geothermals are really good but we have plenty of them on this map so this uh, this this amount of money that you see here the bid five five thousand it's going to come out of your debt not of your funds so you can go as high as you want but you will have to take care of that debt eventually Okay, so what do we want here? We're, we're going to want some silicon, but first, again, I'm, power is kind of killing me. So I'm going to wait to get a little bit more carbon. Carbon is not that expensive, so... I'm going to sell some water. A little bit of aluminum. To get that carbon. Okay, there we have it. So we took care of our our power issue. Right now, I would like to take care of uh, food and oxygen. And uh, I think I can do that without. And uh, 
stay off glass. So, where do we have water? We have water right here. That's going to be fine. I will be getting food. Uh, but first, let's let's take care of this. Let's take care of this first, since uh, food is uh, is requiring glass, and well, glass is really expensive right now. I will want that. Then get the food. So that's going to take care of all our problems here. And right now we're just waiting to upgrade. We need a lot of aluminum, a lot of carbon, but that's not what's killing us. What's killing us is the glass. So next time I maybe should be getting another another aluminum. That that aluminum tile there. And we are going to make the transition into glass. Expansive Once we can upgrade. Expanded. As you can see, we're not really having issues with aluminum, so there's no point in getting more. Problem we have is with carbon. Because we are scavengers. And these two tiles in here were pretty good for carbon. Uh, no, wait, wait, that's aluminum, that's aluminum. So yeah, not not a lot of carbon on this map, but that that big tile there is is really really important. So let's see, well, we're getting there, we're getting there. You really should buy that. Okay. Buildings are powered with water. No need. We have a geothermal plant. So we got. We don't really need that. There we go. We got uh, we got the glass, and right now we're waiting on carbon. Waiting on carbon. So next time we will make the transition into glass, and get uh, get that carbon node as well. Power should be fine. Really, we should not have uh, issues with power. There we go. We upgraded. Badam is it efficient? You should be proud of our guys. So let's see. Start going into silicon. And that's going to give me one point of silicon. I will put another one there. I'm going to get the glass. And I will remain with one um, one more claim, which is probably going to be that carbon there. Because right now carbon I need a lot of it to upgrade again. So I will put the glass furnace. Where is carbon? Get that one there. And one more silicon would be pretty good. So that we can make the full transition into glass. Next, and then win the game with it. So that's that. And right now we are waiting again. I can actually speed things up. As you can see, fuel is going to hurt so next time I will have to take care of that which means I will have to get another another water tile wow power is really really expensive mm. that's interesting I'm tempted to get that geothermal there Okay. What do we need? What do we need? We are waiting for glass and carbon. Okay, I need that. I am going to get this. Eight thousand. Why in the world? I'm just going. To, I just, just got that. Let's put the geothermal there so we can start making some money from uh, from power. I will need it anyway. Okay. Right now we're just uh, we're still waiting on carbon. We did take a little bit of carbon because we we used that one for the geothermal plant. But we are getting money, and we also we almost got the glass. We need 60. Aluminum dropped in price, so that's good that I did not get another another aluminum tile there. Still is still going up. Right now. 
I'm only losing two oxygen. A little bit. It's nothing major. There we go, we upgraded. I can uh, You should be proud of our guys. Get the speed down, get another glass there. Uh again I wanted fuel, which Oh which we we're going to need water. I'm making a little bit of money from power, quite a bit actually. Uh fuel. Okay. We need fuel. We need food. And I think I can get another No, I need uh, I need oxygen. Right now. So oxygen is going to be a little bit of a problem, but once that finishes, hopefully that's not going to be the case anymore. Let's see. Okay, oxygen is fine, but I cannot get another another glass furnace. Because I do not have the oxygen. And the geothermal. That's interesting. Might have been worth it. But uh, what? But it's expensive though. Glass is bloody expensive. Most probably I'm going to go to HQ5. And uh, start getting a little bit more glass. Start getting a little bit more everything actually. Ooh, people are using AMPs. Okay, so I'm tempted to buy a new claim here, and most probably I will. Yeah, I'm going to buy a new claim. I'm going to sell some silicon. So waiting on carbon. That's going to be the end of carbon. And fuel is really expensive. Food is really expensive. Let's upgrade. Whoa, new I don't know everybody's name yet. I need oxygen. The black market is online. But that means I will need water. Then I can get the third glass. Let this be a lesson to you all. Screw with us. And we screw with you. And what else? We still have claims. We still have claims. I can get chemicals. However, the price of carbon is really, really high. Same with the price of fuel. So chemicals most probably was not the, the best idea. But nonetheless, it's going to work. As I will actually do that. However, the food... Wow. Good thing, good thing I did not place that. That hurt. As you can see, that is really hard. Three pirates are auctioning their services to the highest bid. Pirates? No need for pirates. Pirates are going to hijack uh, shipments that come. So you can see these little lines. If I put, if they put a pirate here, they are going to hijack that ship, and they're going to get um, twenty pieces of water every time they hijack it, up to two hundred. So we still have a lot of claims left. I'm not going to go in further into glass, but I do want to get that, and I will. Pirates. I think those Start buying people out. As I, as, as I said, I lost 20 water to piracy. So, um, right now we're producing chemicals. That's going to be good. Glass is still good. Food is retarded. So let's get some food. Um, I'm going to do this. Okay, now, right now, we can just buy them out. No need for anything else. We could go off world, but no need for that. Everything is 
so expensive. Uh, yeah. Right now I'm lacking water. Let's upgrade them to get more tiles. So if you buy someone and then you you upgrade their HQ, you, you actually got their HQ. This this one is mine, but that that guy was not producing any water. So that was why right now I'm lacking I'm lacking water. Man, water is so expensive. I almost didn't get that. Uh, that's not going to happen. A geothermal. No need. Because power power price went down. And that was expected with so many geothermals on the map and so on. So, no need. As you can see. Oxygen. What's what's not going right here? Everything should be going fine. Water. God damn it! I have a. That's why because I have a mutiny on water. Oh, I'm going to buy an, a mutiny myself. No, that that's what I wanted to mutiny. No. Well, that's not going great. No, it's, it would not be efficient, honestly, to meet any anything other than that. The black market is online. Mm-hmm. Stop buying people out. Trying to get off world. Expansive colony expanded. Did they fix that so that I can mutiny? <laughs> no, not yet. Okay, that's up. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Water is still killing me. Because of the guy that I acquired. He's using a lot of water. That fuel. Okay. We did not even have to go for it. There we go. Bought him out. My dad is going crazy, I know, but... No need. I said power costs one dollar. That's horrible. So, we did go off-world anyway, I'm going to sell some chemicals off-world, and once the chemicals come, once that shipment is, uh, is going to get launched, then the chemicals are going to be here. Oh my god, that's bad. That was my glass and my chemicals. So, power... Power is really cheap, so no need. That's going to be iron. That's not really helping me. Iron is bad. I have a lot of aluminum. I feel we can just buy them out. There we go. We got a lot of money from the offworld shipment, and we won the tutorial with scavenger. So, really scavengers are about carbon, and you saw at the beginning we had a little bit of an issue with carbon, and they do have get um, access to to the black market really a sooner, or anything, and let me just take care of that. So, yeah, that was pretty much, pretty much the scavenger, it's the fourth tutorial, and uh, we are going to get into the last tutorial which is going to be scientific and hopefully we're going to we're going to win it decisively so i really thank you all for watching and if you enjoyed this and i will see you all next time